For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Reasonably, I'm on strike is because the company wants to change everything and take everything away from us that we have earned over the years. We, in, in seven years, have lost three plants Philadelphia, uh, Atlanta, and also Fell Island, New Jersey. In the time of the pandemic in uh, last year, 2020, we worked and we worked and we made records of uh, profits for the company. We lost, but it, in December of that same year, they turned around and they closed Fairlong and the Atlanta Bakery. We lost a thousand members, which is a half our membership. So in negotiation this year, they want to change our health care, our work schedules, and affect how we are able to attain overtime. Changing an eight hour work day to a 12 hour, where you don't pay overtime for working the extra four hours. We wanted to change our health care said that we have 100% healthcare, but it would not acknowledge the fact that over the 45 years that I've been here, we have made concessions and given up raises in order to help pay for what would be the premiums for insurance, and they insist that we are not paying anything. They want to change our work week from 8 hours to 12 hours and effectively, whereas now after 8 hours we receive overtime, and we would be working 12 hours every time we work. However, that schedule falls out. Thanks to the overtime grades, now that I have to work 40 hours before I'm even eligible for overtime, all of these are drastic changes. And it has been calculated that with this new AWS alternative work schedule they want us to work, we will actually lose almost $30,000 for some of us. billions of dollars in profit over last year, uh, mainly because we worked and went beyond what was required of us to ensure that our company did well. And uh, to thank us for being asked to give back. Uh, we're being asked to give back, we respect our health care, we're being asked to give back and respect our overtime, and we're also uh, being asked to give up our weekends, the time we treasure to spend them with our families. you have like three three sort of pillars here you have shareholders you have the company and then you have the workers and it's because of the workers that the company is able to pay out so much to the shareholders so if we are going to allow the company to make all this money make billions of dollars per quarter and, and give all this money to shareholders then why are we not able to have a livable wage where we can maintain ourselves sustain ourselves as human human beings